Hey gamers, this is Wintermute here from Grind This Game. And this is a new mobile game I've been trying out called Bit City. It's a little, like a little clicker game by Nimblebit. So to get started, we'll uh, build come, some of our first buildings. This tiny city you start out with has uh, four small lots. So you just gotta, you'll have some money early on just to build out the first lot. And shortly after, you'll have enough money to build the second lot. And the first four lots build pretty quickly. Uh, and then you want to also kind of hit the build button to upgrade each building. And there's an upgrades menu you hit from the left, uh, bottom left. And you'll want to max out of these first four uh, upgrades as soon as you can. They're really cheap to begin with. And there's like tiers. Uh, this is like the first tier. And then there's a new tier for each city level that you go through. Once you've, um, oh, then you want to unlock as many vehicles as you can with kind of the small amount of money you have. Usually the first two or three. And the vehicles kind of move around the map and they have coins above them that you can collect. And there's also boosts, which um, are under the green menu in the bottom left. And a, a boost you always want to have up is the two times boost. You have to watch a video ad and then it'll it'll basically double the speed of your, your income. That uh, doubling, that stays up for 10 minutes and then it'll ask you to watch another video ad. There are certain upgrades in the game that let you extend that time, but uh, they cost dollars, not real dollars. Well, you can pay real dollars, but there's also an in-game currency like that look like dollars in the top right. So there's kind of two tiers of currency. There's the coins, which are the main in-game currency, and then there's the dollars, which are kind of the currency that you can accumulate slowly or you can purchase for real money. And the other thing you want to do right away is kind of upgrade your bank. So you want to get vehicles going, you want to get your bank upgraded as much as you can, and you want to do all the possible upgrades. And the order in which you do these upgrades is, is kind of key. That's where the only kind of strategy in this game exists is the order in which you do the upgrades will speed you up in certain cases, which I'll get into later. You also want to kind of collect the coins from the vehicles as, as you go along. Some of them are small and some of them are big. The big ones are worth more. So once you've got all the lots filled in, you are able to proceed to the next level. But what I end up doing is try to upgrade as much as I can, like upgrade the bank as much as I can, within reason, because um, if you, the, the earnings you're making from your bank carry over to the next city, so it's like a kind of a early start, you'll get, you'll get income flowing in faster uh, if you upgrade your bank all the way. So we'll do the last few kind of bank upgrades and move on to the second city. There's actually 16 cities in total. There's kind of eight and then another set of eight. I've only actually gotten to the seventh city so far, but in this video, I'll take us up to, I think, city five or city six. So the second level is really similar to the first. Um, there's just more small lots. That's about the only difference. Oh, and uh, there's, new, uh, there's new upgrades, a second tier of four upgrades that are unlocked. So, so you w probably want to complete property tax and equipment upgrades. It's kind of the first two upgrade paths in, in the first tier. And the reason you do that is um, it unlocks the second tier, so you can start getting some of the more valuable things in the second tier right away. You can always go back to the first tier and fill out the, like, max out the other upgrades. I'll speed things up a bit here so we can get through this, do a bunch of building. So the first two, I en ended up going with property tax and DMV fees. So once those are all cleared out, it'll open up the second tier. So here's, uh, it's about to unlock the second tier. So now we have housing tax, services grant, toll roads and ride sharing service can't quite afford any upgrades yet, but housing tax you want to do first because it's going to boost your income from 
all your residential buildings. There's services, residential, and business. And you kind of want to upgrade them evenly as, as you go because you you get penalized if you have too many of one. I open up the menu from the top right, which is some of the paid upgrades you can do. I don't recommend you do any of these uh, unless you want to kind of support the developers because there's ways to get that dollar currency uh, through the game itself without having to pay money. And with that dollar's currency you can buy special upgrades but you can also buy um, special buildings which basically have a uh, hundred percent earnings boost to them and they'll keep the same look and feel, they'll keep the same uh, visual as, as the buildings get upgraded. Normally they just randomly cycle through different uh, visual versions of the buildings. There's no kind of, it's, it's not like it's level 2 is looks always the same. The other upgrade in kind of tier 2 that I recommend doing is services grant and that's going to boost earnings from service type buildings. So that's the second one within tier 2 here. It'll take a while to get all the income to upgrade those so I might speed ahead here. You may also notice this uh, wind turbine. It's a uh, it kind of, they kind of automatically get added as the number of buildings gets expanded and there's more wind, t wind turbines in some of the later levels so you can't really have control over them but you can see how much uh, income they bring in so I'll kind of speed through the next uh, bit basically doing more upgrades, as many upgrades as I can collecting coins, um, building the last few buildings or the last one here and upgrading the bank when you can which will get us set up to go to level 3 and I also want to mention um, one more thing and that's that you can uh, you can do this thing called prestiging which I, I'm actually you might have noticed my income's a little bit higher than what you're starting with and that's because I've already gone up to level 5 and done a thing called a prestige which I'll describe later which basically resets you to the first level, but with a higher earning bonus. So here you can see prestige. My earning bonus right now is 109%. So I had a 109 keys, which kind of accumulate over time with earnings. There's also some epic upgrades that you can use dollars for, um, which I'll show here in a sec. And it's like kind of up to you what, what you want to spend the bucks on, but or dollars, not real dollars, but in-game dollars. Uh, I've selected a few where it reduces the cost of autos and airplanes and stuff. There's one called uh, market gains, which is pretty good. It increases the bank savings rate, which is used when you're when you're not playing. There's also keeper of keys. That's a really key one. It'll basically give a bonus to earning more keys um, but it's super expensive it costs 2700 something dollars and there's a few others in there that are that are kind of useful it's up to you though what you want to what you want to use them on we've upgraded all the buildings filled all the plots we can move on to level three which is basically the same the only new kind of aspect is a new tier of research as well as these big lots now some players have suggested that you should upgrade the large lots first. I think that makes sense. I think it's will give you the fastest upgrade path. But it's really kind of hard to test empirically. So, I mean, you can get small lots going. That's, that's what I've done in this video here. Uh, quicker, because you'll have money to actually buy them. Versus waiting around to buy your first large lot. So it kind of depends if you want to like get going quickly or whether you want to wait for the kind of the big upgrades first. So it's very similar to level two: get your cars going, get your bank upgrades, get your research maxed out. Try to get to that second tier of research quickly by you know maxing out two of the four upgrades in the first tier. Since everything is pretty similar. Uh, for level 3 I'll just skip ahead to just the third tier research to describe that. One thing I do want to mention though is that in kind of the top 
near the top right there's this little photo icon which lets you take a screenshot of the game but it also actually has another uh, interesting use which is it allows you to kind of click on all the coins above cars and airplanes and stuff without accidentally clicking on your building so when you're in this mode uh, like the photo taking mode you can just kind of click like mad over the whole screen and you'll you'll collect all your coins without accidentally click on a lot so it's kind of a nice tip only times in this game when you're gonna have to wait a bit or you can wait a bit you just kind of put your phone down to the side and do other stuff well while your things are building up and accumulating enough money for your next upgrade so it's not you don't always have to sit there and watch it but uh, there's one upgrade that's coming up that I want to show you in tier 3 that's pretty important and that will allow automated automated upgrades of your buildings so you won't have to click that build button in the bottom center anymore it'll just automatically upgrade your buildings so you'll still have to fill out the lots but it will automatically build the upgrade the ones that you have which is really handy for kind of idling the game and just putting it aside while it's running so here we are tier 3 so you got autonomous driving business stacks builder bots and land use stacks so builder bots is the one I was talking about it's uh, super useful I would definitely put one point in that and then business tax and the other tax one are probably the ones you want to max out because they're going to increase your income the fastest right away and once you get those filled out you can actually tier 4 is locked until the next level but you definitely want to get land use tax and business tax maxed out so we've finished up on level 3 we can move on to level 4 which is essentially the same there's just more building plots there's more large building plots and there's a new airport where you can uh, build planes which are very similar to cars they just have coin bonuses sometimes dollar bonuses as well and the first plane that you can upgrade at the airport is a drone it's kind of the cheapest one it costs about half a million and then later on a helicopter and additional planes but they get really expensive really fast You'll see the planes kind of fly over your city, but sometimes some of the later ones fly really quickly and you might miss them. So what you can do is zoom way out and you'll be able to see them kind of way out in the map as they fly in. And you can actually click on them in that zoomed out mode, so it's kind of handy to be able to do that. Might be hard to see, but here I'll zoom out and click on a plane that's really tiny, but you'll be able to see me get the bonus. Sometimes it takes a few clicks. There, got it. So since everything is the same until about t tier 4 research, I'm going to skip ahead to that part of the video. So in tier 4, two of the really important upgrades are roof rooftop solar, which uh, gives you a 100% bonus per upgrade and building codes uh, which basically like every time a building upgrades instead of upgrading one level it'll automatically upgrade two levels it's pretty expensive to get it's like 22 billion but once you've got it uh, and you've also got the builder bots your, your city will upgrade itself really quickly the other two upgrades are really useful as well but I would just get those first two maxed out first before I start investing in the second two. So I'm going to speed through kind of the rest of this level uh, and here we are at level 5 which is the Palm Island and it's pretty much the same again except it's bigger there's more plots of land and there's a new dock which allows you to build uh, ships and boats but they're pretty expensive so it'll take a take a while before you can build them on this level and this level took uh, actually it was going so slow that I ended up doing the prestige thing which I had around 109 keys at that point I think and I prestige so I could start from the beginning again but with that added earnings bonus so when you get around to level 5 again which is much quicker the second time around you um, 
you'll be able to get through level 5 without you know too many hours of play. Kind of one rule of thumb people use for prestige is to uh, wait like maybe do it at, at 50 or 100 the first time and then wait until you've doubled your prestige points or keys so first time do it at 100 say and then when you've accumulated another 100 keys uh, prestige again and then maybe another 200 keys and 400 etc but it, but that's kind of a fixed rule but I just kind of I do it when things are noticeably slowing down quite a bit as I should mention before I wrap up the video and that's uh, missions or quests uh, just basically a bunch of quests that you can do they earn they earn you bucks or dollars uh, and they're often like build two of this type of building or you know uh, get so many car rewards or plane rewards and so those are the, those are like uh, under the check box check mark box and uh, kind of near the top left um, and for some of them when you have to build two of the same kind of building you'll have to you can get them kind of through luck but you can also get them a bit more strategically by clicking uh, on the once you have one of the buildings that you need kind of setting it to historical which will keep it as, as that building type and then when you go to build uh, eventually you'll get the second one of the same type I'm not sure if there's quest for three of one type I think there might be but you can use the historical one to kind of lock in uh, that first, second, and maybe third uh, building type. The other thing uh, is kind of with auto zoning. Auto zoning is, is what you, I usually use when I kind of build new plots out. But sometimes, like let's say you have a really good residential tax upgrade already kind of maxed out. There's times you, when you may want to build a residential building instead, even if it's a lower demand, because it's maybe going to get like a 400% bonus. So the minus 10 for low demand might offset your 400% bonus. So that's one thing to look at. And then there's certain, basically kind of a, as a rule of thumb to see which research things work the best is to look at your, your coins generation per second at the very top. And, you know, try one of the four upgrades within a tier and see how much it pushes up the the coins per second and if you notice that you're getting a massive increase in coins per second for a very small investment then invest in those first. There is a uh, one kind of cheat or exploit that there exists in the game and if you don't want to know what it is kind of spoil alert just fast forward 30 seconds or so but if you on your phone if you kind of advance your date forward one day the game will think that you've kind of stop playing it or stop playing it for a day and you'll earn a bunch of money from your bank when you come back. I don't really like using those uh, and it's kind of up to you because it kind of takes the fun out of the game. So it's kind of use as at your own discretion. I'm sure they'll fix that eventually but um, they might not. Kind of up to you. So this game's pretty fun. At, at first I thought it was going to be a SimCity kind of game where you just you have more control over what you build, but it ended up just being more of a clicker game, which is kind of you know fun in its own right if you like clicker games. Uh, it does slow down unless you're spending real money. It does slow down kind of drastically uh, around level five, level six. Uh, I, I probably will make a part two of this video uh, once I get to the past level eight because that's when it kind of resets and goes onto a moon base where there's another eight levels. So if there's anything in that last eight levels that's kind of majorly different, I'll probably do a video about it. Since things kind of slowed down for me in level six here, uh, I ended up doing prestige again. I'll just kind of show that quickly here, um, which sets you back to level one, but with a added earnings bonus. So here I have 109% bonus uh, and I'll start back at level one again but getting back to level six um, was quite a bit quicker now I'm earning 221 percent bonus so it's gonna be about twice as fast to get to that same point and then hopefully I'll be able to get through level six uh, in a reasonable amount of time okay that's it for this uh, video uh, if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and if you want to be notified about future videos please hit the subscribe button okay 
Thanks for watching.